Dr. Joe McCullough, thank you for spending a couple minutes with us. I'm so excited to be here at Paleo FX, and I'm here because of you. I just found out. Yes. Um, and I've been your fan probably for 20 years, right? Wow, that's like, a long time. When did you get started? Well, online about 21 years ago, I start, started practicing medicine in 85 after mm -hmm. I finished my family practice residency. Incredible. So I thought it would be really interesting to talk a little bit about fasting mm -hmm. and some of the work and the research that you're doing on fasting. I'm on day two of a water fast, as you know. Yesterday, I went to True Foods with you and mm -hmm. you had, had some lunch. And I know you've done a bunch of water fasting, mm -hmm. so just I love just, to get your... I, did, I try to do it once a quarter, mm -hmm. so I just finished one like three weeks ago. So, yeah. You know, just, but it's, it's really good. I love fasting. First yeah. of all, let's go into the fasting. So okay. it's historically, our ancestors right. have done this from time immemorial. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, it was not done electively. Right. So in some ways, you could. there's a difference between fasting and starvation. Because fasting is voluntary, starvation is not. So our ancestors, it was more starvation. Right. <laughs> so it really was. Yeah. Right. It, you know, it's yeah. from that perspective. Fast they just didn't time. have to. And, and it, that um, catalyzed... Uh, changes mm -hmm. in the, the genetics to essentially allow us to become metabolically flexible. Mm -hmm. Because if we weren't lost the capacity to have energy to move around and think even more clearly when we didn't have food, we couldn't find it, we'd die as a species. Mm -hmm. So it's an evolutionary adaptation to improve our health. And evolutionary changes uh, progress very slowly. Right. So, and what's happened is that in the last century or so, we've had this radical departure from what our ancestors were exposed to. And as a result of that, we've lost this metabolic flexibility to burn fat as our primary fuel. So fasting can be a very powerful way to bring that back and provides a lot of benefits. And there's different types of fasting. There are right. primary two types of intermittent fasting, mm -hmm. which I think is probably useful for most people for 16 hours a day. Sometimes I like to go to 20. I think going to 20 is good if you're preparing yourself to do your initial water fast. Uh, which is, you're kind of getting yourself metabolically flexible. Uh, it's not something, well, you don't have, and then with it, what do you eat when you're, well, we're talking about fasting, so let me get, get back to that. Uh, so what happens when you fast is you, you do become metabolically mm -hmm. flexible. Unfortunately, many people experience many side effects. With fasting. With fasting, mm -hmm. especially like almost everyone watching this, unless they've done the due diligence mm -hmm. and, uh, effort to become metabolically flexible, but being very hungry is at least most people's experience. The first, well, day two or day three, mm -hmm. but it, it, even without any prep, it'll disappear, right. you know, typically by day three. Um, and then they start to read the benefits, but a lot of them have side effects. Now, historically, at least from my perception, mm -hmm. this is why I'm so excited, yeah. because I was thinking that Chris Shea, who's mm -hmm. a real big fan of the metabolic support for detoxification, right. but doesn't really have the understanding of the dietary component, at least the timing of the dietary sure. component. He's going to be doing this, but I realized you could do it like sooner because you've been met, you've been metabolically metabolically mm -hmm. for a long time. Yeah. So historically, though, I don't think it was necessary because our exposures to toxins were relatively limited. Very good point. Yeah. You know. Up until like before 1900, they were there clearly. Like you have natural mycotoxins and other chemical or environmental exposures. Mm -hmm. but now that's a very small percentage. I mean, in some people it's big because they have mold in their homes, but most of them are chemical exposures from industrialized society. Mm -hmm. And they break down into two types. One is water soluble. The other is fat soluble. The water soluble ones aren't much of an issue because they're water soluble. That's what your liver does. Mm -hmm. You know, it converts the fat soluble. That's one of the fun things. Right. It does other things, but one of the primary things is to make it water soluble so you can excrete it in your blood or bile, mm -hmm. sweat it out, or urinate it out, yep. or, or poop it out in your stool. Uh, so when you fast, this is the. It, in the past, it wasn't a big issue because when you fast, the toxins are stored in your fat and you mm -hmm. liberate them through a process called lipolysis and breaking out of fat for, so, so you have a source of fuel. As a result of that, um, the, the, you know, historically there wasn't a lot of toxins so you didn't have to worry about it, but right. now you have them and they're liberated. So it's and almost like we need to be doing these fasts because of the modern society that we live in today. 
No, the fasts are really being done for a different reason. The, I actually didn't get to the benefits of the yeah. fast. Yeah. But just the, the complications of the fast currently is my current concern, mm -hmm. which is because we're overloaded with these toxins. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a supportive structure to facilitate that metabolism or conversion of, of the toxins in your liver primarily, mm -hmm. and then allow it to be excreted from your body, you'll, you'll create more problems than you solve. But why do you want to do this? Because of something you've been fascinated about for a long time and surprisingly you just shared prior to us turning on the camera. It really is shocking to me that there's not more from people talking right. about autophagy. Yeah. So process of autophagy, what does autophagy mean? It's really simple if you, if you study etymology, the, you know, the, the derivative of, of words. And that is that auto means self, vago means eat, self-eating, you're eating yourselves. And it's a real simple process, actually, uh, that many people aren't aware of because it's not obvious and a lot of people are talking about. So what happens is there's, there's some, it cells in your body that are called senescent. Mm -hmm. And senescent, senescent, if you look etymolo etymologically, it comes from the word senile. We all know right. what senile is. So it's an old old cell. One of, the, one of the, the, the artifacts of old cells is that they fail to reproduce. Mm -hmm. So they're relatively useless, at least our current perception is through. So maybe it's some value like that, like the junk DNA we didn't think was useful, but now we know it's more important than the regular DNA, like the microRNAs. So, the uh, when you when you activate autophagy, and you do this with fasting, and, and you, you can't fast for a day, two days, or three days. It has to be at least a three-day fast. It depends. You can okay, okay, activate but, uh, it at different levels. Okay, different levels. But yeah. I mean, maximally is yes. like three days. Right, right, right. Yeah, and so four or five days. That's why I like five days. Because you know, it's like the sweet spot, you know, you're not really causing a lot of damage, potentially. I mean, and some people benefit from more. I'm work, writing a book called Keto Fast, and I'm writing it with an expert, probably one of the top experts in the country, Alan Goldhammer, mm. out of True, True North. He's the director yeah. of that clinic, and they fasted 15,000 patients. Incredible. Up to 40 days, you know, yeah. so he's got a wealth of clinical experience, and I'm working... I'm, I'm really looking forward to collaborating with him. I haven't yet. He's already doing his section, I'm doing mine. I'm going to collaborate, because mm -hmm. I haven't even... I told him we're talking about my detox program, but that was like months ago, and I thought, because I thought it would take a week or two, and it's been taking months to put it together. But anyway, um, you activate autophagy, and it essentially cleans up those cells, but not only does it remove the cells, and there's a lot of research now in the research, as in the research community, you're probably aware, in the scientific community, not yeah. in the clinicians, yeah. on, on removal of senescent cells from the body, and they can target, there's a lot of different ways to target it, but why not target your body to do it like it was designed to? Exactly. You know, that's the simplest, you know, I mean, just, you don't need a crazy solution, just activate the systems that are already there. So you remove those cells, but then the beautiful thing comes, it's just like exercise. Okay? When you exercise, you damage your body. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a hormetic stressor, and many people overdo the exercise. And the benefit of exercise does not come from the exercise directly. It's only a trigger. The benefit yep. comes in the recovery. Mm -hmm. It's in the recovery. Mm -hmm. So it's just the same thing. Fasting causes damage. Yep. No question about it. But it's just like exercise. It's a good damage, and you can recover for it. And when you recover, it makes you stronger. Yeah. Because, and this is why you don't want to eat proteins and stuff, because your body needs amino acids, it, it, because it loses certain ones. And this is what I still have to work through. I can't wait to You're mind build this on this. You're loving this process, right? Because, you know, yeah. I've got some questions about amino acid precursors of glutathione, which mm -hmm. you need for detox, and do you need to supplement that during fasting? We don't know yet. Maybe you know, maybe, I don't know, but yeah. we're going to find out. Yeah. But anyway, traditionally, you don't eat any food, the protein. So your body is looking for these proteins. Right. So where does it get them for? It gets from the senescent cells. So it recycles them and it builds a new cell. It's like the coolest thing. It's like this, and it activates stem cells and you get all this regenerative repair. And isn't that incredible? It's beyond incredible. Yeah. It's like, after a it's and you were saying that yesterday, like after three days, we know that we're stimulating those stem cells, mm -hmm. right? So day three, we're stimulating stem cells. And how many people, actually take stem cells or who can afford it but to think that you can do it naturally yeah for free mm -hmm. wait, wait it's not for free i have to be i have to be yeah. careful it's cheaper than food <laughs> <laughs> you're not eating yeah mm -hmm. you're not paying for your food yeah. you're not taking time to buy it you're not taking time to prepare it yeah. to clean it up so it's like two hours a yeah. day for most people and then the benefit is that, as you know, because I, I mean, I can't believe how long you've been fasting with your 25 ear. years. And that is just But amazing. for my autoimmune health, like it was just I, instinctual. No, but I, I don't know initially. anyone that has done that. I mean, really? So, yeah, I mean, I just started fasting like within the last year. 
So, and I was clueless, a clu clueless on steroids. I had no idea the benefits. Yeah. I was uh, concerned at the damage we're doing. I thought we, we should, really? people shouldn't do it. And now I'm, I'm absolutely converted and realized what so a powerful tool that is. I'm so excited that you're into it because yeah. your passion and dedication is going to also open up so much information yeah. Yeah, to I so many people. As I share with some friends and some, to some audiences, you know, I bet it was a long time, it was a long time runner for over four decades mm -hmm. and ran a marathon. and. A lot of people do that nowadays. As you know, it's become exercise thanks to Cooper and his promoting aerobics in the 60s. And I'm convinced that more people, at least in the United States, not in Europe, yeah. but in the United States, have done marathons than have done a five-day water fast. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you have oh, any pressure on so. that? I think you're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. Which is bizarre because the they're doing it to get healthy. Yes. And the fasting is going to get much healthier than, than running a marathon. But it's new. It's new information, yeah. even though it's been around forever, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And you think about all the religions yeah. that use it, but it's still new. Yeah. But the amount of people in this country that are getting excited and passionate about understanding like oh I can be a sugar burner yeah or yeah like your book came out how many years ago fat fat for fuel oh, it wasn't that long ago two years a year no, just a year ago yeah. a year ago yeah we started two years ago but a year so ago. incredible and so many people are understanding like wow there is something called metabolic flexibility mm -hmm. our metabolism is not just about burning fat you know mm -hmm. it's also about all of our health conditions and state of health and these things are really, I think, infiltrating into the mind of the American because, like, we're just doing it wrong. But in Europe, right? it's different, though, right? Yes, very different. Because, at least my understanding, I've not, you've yeah. been to Europe a lot, I yeah. think I've been to Europe once maybe. But I think most people there, the significant percentage of the population, 10, 20 percent, fasted at some time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think it's very high. Like, growing up in England, GMOs, not yeah. allowed. You mm -hmm. know, it's. I was born on a biodynamic farm. Like you're bringing <laughs> biodynamics in a big way. My grandfather, yeah. Ernst Daniel, brought biodynamics to this country. Wow! When oh, he your moved, yes, did. I didn't. I, maybe I was told that, but I did not realize. No, no, no. I probably didn't tell you that. Yeah, but yeah. that, the the quality of the soil and mm -hmm. the quality of what we're putting into our bodies and what you were talking about, just with all of the pollutants in our environment, mm -hmm. we have to do things differently. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. if we want to stop the devastating course and trend that we're on. Yeah. And who doesn't want that? Well, I don't think anyone in the right mind wanted that was rational, but you know, there's some very strong forces that are <laughs> stopping yeah. that implementation. Right. Because yeah. we live in a capitalist society, yes, yeah, right? Yeah. So there's that conflict. Mm -hmm. But as human beings, innately, of course, we want to be healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your voice and your message is so powerful and so important, and I'm really honored to have the opportunity to spend time with you. Well, boy, likewise, because you know, I, I just learned about you recently, and I had no idea, I'd never encountered you in any way, shape, or form. You know, I, 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 you're such an anomaly, you know, to have your perspective and passion and intelligence and resourcefulness to, and to efficiently get things done. And, you know, and to be involved in a big business, to, to do that, is like to me extraordinary because you don't see that in most big business people. Yeah. Well, I'm Pat, you know, I, I had tem chemical toxicity yeah. from Chinese herbs that I Yeah, 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 I heard, I heard so, the story. So yeah. that, that was a real thing. And so for me, I always wanted to know where things come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm so curious. Person, yeah. So that's why I travel all over the world and I source, yeah. but I go to the farms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and got I to. go through the whole supply chain. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, thank you for your your dedication to that process. I love it. Yeah, yeah, that's great.